Have you ever felt deep down when no one's looking, where no one can see inside yourself, have you ever felt deep down that there is something terribly flawed, that there is something deeply wrong with the way things are? I know that many of you have, and that's because inside of ourselves, we know deep down we were never intended to live inside the box. We were never intended to live life in chains to our selfish nature. Guys, I'm with the campaigns in box-based living. And do you guys have a few minutes or you guys headed out or? In fact, even though our box-based culture would try to make you believe that there is no such thing as living outside the box, the truth is you will never find out who you really are until you're willing to face yourself and to remove your box. That's what we're about. That's what this is all about. Using the metaphor of the box, using humor and, and these short films to, to talk to you and to help you understand how you can ditch your box and find the freedom and restoration and wholeness that only God can give you. If you've ever felt like something was deeply flawed, if you've ever just, when no one's looking, not necessarily a religious feeling or anything, just by yourself felt deep down that something is terribly wrong about the direction of the world and humanity and even ourselves. And I'll tell you, that's because all of us are trained and conditioned to live inside the box, whether it's Christian or atheist, Republican, Democrat. Culture teaches us that we need to live inside the box and that there's no such thing as life outside of your selfish nature. Well, I'm here to tell you that there is another way. There is another way, and it's the way of spiritual revolution. In this episode three, The Rebellion, you saw how Nathan Cole was actively reaching out to other people that are living inside the box. See. Freedom is contagious, but freedom isn't free. And living outside the box is not safe or easy. What happens is, as more and more people begin to ditch their box, ditch their selfish nature, and begin to live free, the people in power, the people in control, the people who are the box dictators, don't, don't like that. Look what they did to Jesus. And you'll find out on our next episode what they'll do to you. We gotta cross the rebellion. I got a box waiting just for them. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Matthew Armstrong with the Campaign to End Box-Based Living. Thank you for watching DitcherBox.com. <laughs>